Mike, how is Will and his right foot, and uh, will he have a chance to play this week? Uh, we'll see. We'll evaluate that through the week. You know, we'll see how you know practice goes, um, and then we'll we'll prepare accordingly and make sure that uh, you know we give everybody the best opportunity to to win the football game. So we'll uh, we'll see everybody's health and you know as they work through treatment today and, and practice and treatment through the week. <clears throat> practice tomorrow? Uh, I wouldn't, I don't know that as of now yet. But he's made some improvements, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everybody has, you know. Everybody, you know, feels a little bit better after, uh, you know, some treatment and some time and recovery. So, you know, we'll see who's available and, and where we can go. Mike, in eight-plus games of seeing Will, though, do you feel good and confident about his future here with this team? I'm not ready to talk about our future or anybody else other than the, what's happening this week with Jacksonville. And, you know, I think at the right time we'll be able to try to have those conversations. Um, really just want us to, to finish strong. Really uh, do everything that we possibly can to, uh, you know, finish this year off the best that we can. That, that's what the focus is. If Will can't go this week, would there be any consideration of giving Malik another shot or is it still Ryan's? Uh, job as the second guy. Uh, Ryan would play if, if Will can't go. Ryan be the quarterback. Mike, um, where have you seen the greatest development with Will over these last few games when he's been healthy and able to play? Um, again, with all due respect to our, our season and to the Jacksonville Jaguars and to our, you know, just the season, you know, I just the reflection and the improvement and it hasn't been there for, for any of us, and uh, not, not enough of it. And whether that be me, the coaching staff, um, the, the players, I mean, I think we just have to continue to strive to, to improve and, and clean up the things that, um, you know, we see that can affect uh, whether we win or lose. And so that's what we're gonna try to do this week. And then we'll be able to, you know, touch on where, you know, we feel like we're gonna go after that. With this offensive line, it seemed like progress was being made in, in terms of pass protection in the middle of the season. Then the last three weeks, the sacks have become a problem again. Is there anything that you can pinpoint that's created some of that? I mean, I think sometimes matchups in this league and, you know, again, our ability to, to be able to stay out of games that turn into a drop back mode. You guys all scoff at me when I say that, and we have to stay out of those games. We have to stay – um, complimentary, right, to where you can run the football, you can move the pocket, you can run keepers, you can run play action, where guys are creating different angles as opposed to uh, sitting in there in a, in a two-minute situation and having to go on the ball and uh, drop back and throw it and, and, and score and, and be down in those situations. That, that's just – that's not where we need to be. Um, and, and that's – that's all of our faults uh, for putting ourselves in that position. So, you know, there, there's good looks at it. And then there's, you know, obviously you know, some, some disappointing snaps as it relates to protection and, and everybody can help. You talk, you talk about the good looks at it. It's kind of, isn't it a little bit like the airport, like the planes are supposed to land safely and when they do, it's not the, the thing that you get excited about. It's when there's a crash that it's news. Like, the, the plays where they block effectively is what they're supposed to do. Do you, do you spend a lot of time on the plays where they block correctly, giving them credit for it, or is it about the ones where they don't? I think it's a balance. I think you have to continue to show, uh, and I appreciate such a very wordy, long drawn out question. Um, you know, there's, there's a balance to, to, to coaching and to be able to show uh, the good plays uh, that have shown improvement or things that you worked. I guess the biggest thing is showing everybody or each player or each unit that something that you've worked on that you, you know, you get in the game and, and you're able to, to nail it. And you're like, okay, you put time in on it. Um, this is something that we focused on and worked on. And then obviously there's, um, you know, the, the technique plays or, you know, the negative plays that, that we show as well. 
and that we have to try to avoid. That's that's why we have to practice. And you know, so you know, I'm not trying to sit here and you know have a pizza party over the you know the positive plays, but there are some things that you're working on and that that you end up you know getting in the game that that are positive, and then it's part of development and improvement. Uh, is some is some small victories along the way. You know, we know that the only victory that matters is is the football game. But individually, I think that there can be, you know, some small victories as you try to, you know, develop uh, players on your roster. You know that change is inevitable. You've lived through it in this game. Is, is there any time for sentimental thoughts this week that this could be your last game with, with 22 in the backfield? Uh, no, I you know, I think we all – We'll have time to to sort some of those things out, um, you know. A- after after the season, you know, we're all we're all disappointed and you know and frustrated by by how this this went this year. But um, y- you know, we're just trying to make sure that it's as professional and as classy uh, as we finish, and that we put the players in the best, you know position to go out there and, and again win but then also you know there's still you know a lot of guys that are playing for for personal um, accolades as well and, and I'm absolutely okay with that because we've always said that when you get enough guys that have personal success uh, within what we're trying to do as a team you know we're going to have you know plenty of team success so uh, those those things have to coexist and, and and I want them to uh, one more week. Do you feel like the message that you and the coaching staff try to send to the team, you feel like that's still being received the same way now as it was when this team was having success in years past? The message, you know, really is, is stay, try to stay consistent. I think that, you know, wh- whether you, you know, just – there's things that we believe in and there's things that we know, you know, win football games and that is, is clean football and winning football and successful football. Um, so when we don't uh, do those things, like, you know, that's not getting, you know, I mean, we're not doing a good enough job of, of getting, you know, that coached or taught uh, with whatever turnover there may be or may not have been. Um, so yeah, I mean it all, it all, it all falls on me. That I, I, I'm good with that. You started Dillard three times to pull him. Is it the lack of alternatives that gets him back in into the position? To well, we only have so many offensive linemen, and you know, there was, um, you know, but there was also, you know, trying to get, you know, Jalen some work as well, you know, and that's, um, you know, that's what you work with here in the season with the. Uh, with who you have. This is a big game. I mean, this is potentially a playoff game for Jets. Yeah, we and every game is a big game. You know what I mean? And they, um, you know, a year ago we were in that opportunity, we were in that spot, and you know we weren't able to to win. And uh, you know, we just we, we need to win for a lot of reasons. Have you seen uh, progress from uh, Jalen you know, in, in the stats and the starts that he's got? Um, you know, most importantly, it's was what we're going to get this week. Um, and again, everybody's ready to, you know, I'm just not ready to sit here and write a, you know, in a review and, 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 it, and it shouldn't be very good. Um, so again, we're focused on what, what he's going to be able to be able to do this week and, and how he can play this week and how he can find a way to, to help us win. Do you potentially look at guys like Murphy or Gibson, maybe some guys uh, who hadn't played a lot this year in the final game, or what's the balance like? And curious about some players, and but also want to let your veterans finish. Yeah, um, I'm going to try to be as respectful as I possibly can. Um, I think I'd be doing those guys a disservice and and, and not – adhering to the trust that I've tried to build with those players at that position that you're talking about. It's been, it's been one of the strongest positions uh, on our football team. It's the one that's maintained and, and helped us, um, you know, consistently. And, you know, by that, I mean, just being there day in and day out, uh, we know how much Danico and, and Harold and then with the addition of Arden this year, 
Um, that would be that would be difficult, and and I know that those guys they want to play, they want to play well, um, and and I want them all to get you know as many damn sacks as they possibly can, and tip as many passes, and and make as many plays as they possibly can. Um, you know, and so Caleb has to earn a right to play. He made a couple tackles on special teams. Uh, didn't follow that up, so you know we'll see how he does this week, and and then we'll see how the game goes. Um, with the with the Jaguars' quarterback situation, how do you prepare potentially? You know, maybe having to play more than one quarterback, or maybe someone who you wouldn't normally see. I, I think that's always probably delicate. I mean, we see the similar plays. You know, there may not be as much. Um, you know movement plays or mobility. Um, but I think as a whole, the, the plays and that, that you're trying to prepare and show the players to um, are going to be the same, the same types of plays. And, and then once you, you know, figure out who the quarterback is, maybe one scrambles a little bit more, or one's, you know, more in a pocket and you'll have to adjust to that and say, hey, we, we you know, got a threat for you know, a mobile quarter, more mobile quarterback, and 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 how that all plays out. Finish the last game, Mike, with one tight end, healthy, active. Uh, will some of those guys be able to play this week, or are you gonna have to go find some guys to get some depth? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have, the answers I think are here for whatever we need. Um, you know, we'll see how those guys are feeling. Expand on because it sucks to lose Gentry. Trey, you ever need to show you anything? Uh, Did you have another know? thought or no? I'm just curious. Why? Well, it, it, it sucks. It is not Losing. Good. Awful. That's why I want to win. Because you don't sleep. You want to win for the players that bust their tail. That's it. You know what I mean? It's not about, hey, we'll go into the off season with a good note. Nobody knows what you did on January 7th or 8th or 6th in April when you come back. But, you know, you want to see, you know, just it all come together. And just put four quarters together. You know, win a game like we talked about. You come in here, well, you close game. Yeah, we're, we feel the same way. You know, in that game the other day, you know, you just we got to put ourselves into a competitive game where it's, you know, back and forth, back and forth, and there's some field position, and then you score, and you take care of the football. And we just hadn't done that in the opportunities that we had that were like, okay, we fought and we were close, but I think that's why. You know, you just put yourself in a competitive situation, you know, come up with a way to, you know, make a play uh, in the second half to, to win the game. That, that's what I hope for. Sorry about my language. Uh, Trey, Trey uh, Avery, got to show you anything besides health in, in order to get back in the in the lineup? Uh, I, you know, I mean, I think he's you know trying to get healthy, and you know the last exposure you know wasn't great, so giving you know Eric a chance, and SMB came back, and if Trey's healthy, I'm, I'm sure he'll help us and and be ready to go in some capacity. About playing complementary offense, uh, I'm curious. To you, does that always start with establishing the run, or are there other ways to achieve? Well, yeah, running? I mean, you, you can. There's other ways. I mean, we just, you know, make a play down the field that changes field position and creates momentum. Um, you know, converting third downs, like, you know, controlling the football. Uh, that That's always a great uh, way, you know, and then finishing drives with, with points. You know, that's – and then reserving a right to punt, not putting a ball in harm's way, uh, being able to, to pin them inside the 10. You know, we've seen examples, not enough of them, um, to where we do that and then we force them to punt. You know, we have a good defensive series, force them to punt. You know, now we're on a short field. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you, you, those are certainly things that you have to do. And if you can, you know, bust a couple runs in there, to, to keep them off balance so they're just not you know, rushing in every play. 
I think that that does does help, and it also, again, I think allows you to to create some of those play pass protections that are more favorable uh, to to everybody. Four interceptions this year, more product of DBs need to make more plays, or the pass rush needs to force more bent throws. Uh, both, I mean, or tip some passes. You know, I mean, tip passes get picked. Uh, so that's something that we always continue to try to emphasize. But it's never going to be about, you know, one specific. And also, you know, we've had our hands on on s- some footballs. Yeah, you got to you got to you got to make the ones uh, that you're supposed to make. You know, you got to catch the ones you get your hands on. You know, we always say in man coverage, it's not about getting interceptions. It's about not letting your man catch the ball. And then if we're in zone, we have to be able to to break and, and try to make a play on a football. And then obviously the pass rush uh, plays a part in that. You know I mean, we go back and forth. Is it, you know, not getting there fast enough or they're throwing it before, we're, you know, we get there. And, you know, it's a fine balance of, of trying to work together to create ball disruption. We always say that, you know, trying to work together. I know we miss a lot with Jeffrey out, but that was one of the things he seemed to excel at was, was getting his hands up. And- well, and we've had some other opportunities. You know, I mean, we've we've tried, and you know, guys that have tackled the quarterback. You know, whether the quarterback falls on it, whether Arden hits it out, and it you know falls, and the quarterback recovers it. Um, you know, but you do see a lot of tip balls uh, get intercepted, and that's something that you know I think is a is a fine line and a balance between rushing and then also you know seeing that front hand knowing that you're not there and, and sliding back into a throwing lane. And when that front hand, you know, comes off trying to trying to go up and match, you know, we don't want guys that just stand at the line of scrimmage and and hop up and down. I don't think that does anything. But also, you know, I think there is something that trying to, to work into the pocket and, you know, being able to get into those throwing lanes and, and try to tip a ball. So that helps as well. Sunday, you didn't really know about the injuries and, and why they've come the way they've come the, the last three years now. I mean, do you think that luck plays into it as, as, as much as anything? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how it wouldn't with some of the ones that we've had. You know, I mean, whether that's a guy falling on somebody's MCL, you know, or a guy getting dragged down as a, as a gunner and hurting his knee and Colton's instance and, you know, I, I just, you know, we don't ever want to put our players in any sort of harm's way. I mean, the injuries that have occurred to the, you know, to the quarterbacks uh, are unfortunate, you know. We know nothing good comes from uh, when the quarterback gets hit, you know. So, again, we'll have an opportunity to, you know, at some point in time discuss you know all those, and you know certainly want to do everything that we can to to avoid soft tissue injuries. Um, you know, but I don't I don't know what uh, you know what the answer is sometimes to guys you know falling into other people's legs out there on on a football field or you know, you know hurting something else. So we're we're going to continue to evaluate that and try to get the guys back as, as quickly as possible when they do, you know, have an injury. Don't you think the rest of that is, is due to level out over time? Uh, I guess it's like analytics. I guess you need a, you know, I guess you need a lot of uh, examples, you know, however many examples they ru- use to run the model. How much did Colton, I guess, improve in his rookie year? And maybe what's your message to him as he – I'm assuming starting to rehab. Well, he improved, you know, on, on that special teams. And, you know, when you have a young receiver like that with some size and some speed, you, you hope that that can translate into the kicking game. Um, I don't think that it did right away. And I, and I think that he worked extremely hard personally. I think Anthony Levine worked extremely hard. And, and again, anything that a player does is going to be on them. But I know that, that Levine spent a lot of time teaching Colton how to play special teams and how to be a gunner uh, in this league. And uh, so, so those were some real positive things. Uh, and so, you know, the message is to, to get healthy, 
uh, and uh, find, a, find a role on this football team next year.